In part 2 of the Merging and Arranging Graphs tutorial, I'll show you how to align layers using the Object Edit toolbar. I'll also show you how to display opposite axes with nonlinear formulas. I begin with one of our sample projects, Layer Management, in the Samples Graphing folder. In this graph in the Arranging Layers folder, I wish to arrange these layers. I click on the first layer, hold the Shift key to select each of the other layers. I can then use the Object Edit toolbar to set a uniform width and height. I now want to select just this layer, so I click outside to unselect, click this layer, and then shift click this one, and then bottom align these two layers. Now to left align with this layer, I click it first, hold down the shift key, click this top one, and then click the left align button. I can then click on this one, shift click this one, and do a right align. Let's bottom align the top two layers. You've just seen how the Object Edit Toolbar provides a quick way to align and set the size of layers. The first layer selected is the reference layer, and all others will adjust according to that one. The Layer Management tool provides more options. We'll see later in another part of the Merging and Arranging Graphs tutorial how to use the Layer Management tool. Let's continue now by looking at the contents of the Nonlinear Axis folder. An Origin 2D graph is a set of X and Y axes, and opposite axes can be turned on for both X and Y. In addition, the opposite axis can also display labels using any user-specified nonlinear formula with respect to the primary axis. I'm going to open the Layer Management tool by clicking on Graph, Layer Management. The preview shows me a preview of the graph. I'm going to go to the Axes tab. This lets me modify the axes of the selected layer. A layer, remember, can have a bottom, a left, a top, and a right axis. I want to display the top x-axis along with the title and the tick labels. The bottom x-axis in this graph is wavelength. I want to display the labels on top in units of energy. The relationship between wavelength and energy is what I've just typed in. X in this case is wavelength. Click Apply to see the changes in the graph preview, and then OK to accept and update the original graph. I double-click the x-axis title. In the in-place edit mode, I change the text. I now want to hide this tick label here, so I double-click on the axis. I switch to the Custom Tick Labels tab. At Axis Begin, I change this to Hide, which will hide the missing value label for energy that corresponds to zero wavelength. This concludes Part 2 of the Merging and Arranging Graphs tutorial. Thank you for watching.